some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday, we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost, Angus and Eastwood among them. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks.
1890 Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Medallion. Artwork looks Indian. What is that a picture of? Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's got to be another way down. to that other switch.
Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. <sighs> we got company. Gotta squeeze through. One down! Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here? Got the second one. Shit. 
That should be it. It worked, Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? That worked. Uh, sir? Are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. I got closer. Okay. Mr. Jesse, hey, are you all right? So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? No, you're still good for comic relief. I am? Ready to roll, sir? Thank <laughs> you. 
up there, Verge? Uh, I'm fine. Baxter's team must have moved deeper down into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them. we found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa, but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any sandwich shoes we previously encountered.
down those rails where now? Try to move it a little closer, sir. You do that. Anyone seen some foils around here? No? Okay. Entrance, Mr. Jesse. Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. 
Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Taking it. Many good agents were slaughtered in Baxter. I knew them all well. Likely the reason you like blowing things up, Verge. Baxter. What a damn tragedy. But I guess that's the job. At least we now know how to break the glamis. The faster we break them, the stronger. Heard you got the coil, sir. That's stupendous. We all need those upgrades. Of course, yours is the most important. But with enough coils... It'll take some time, but yeah. I think Virgil might be able to build a few more. Too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress.
that. I can't thank you enough for your help, sir. Ticks in the basement, Bloom, are you out of your mind? Sorry, sir. It, w it was only for research purposes, but it got out of hand. Won't happen again, sir. I promise. Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you upstairs. I don't know, Amelia. It felt kind of right to be out there. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, I gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. <laughs> 